So in this uh, short video, we'll look at how we're using the uh, Agile-like approach in the Aquadapt, in particular the two levels at which we're running coordination meetings. At the this overall figure that many of you have seen is relatively complicated, so I'm going to do it and split it into two parts. At the regional level, the partner leaders and the project leader hold a meeting every two weeks in which they look at the suggested tasks identified by the project leader and put into the product backlog and then th together they agree on which ones will be moved into the plans and activity list for the next two weeks. So in terms of the smart sheet, suppose for this test these you'll see there's three tasks that the, that the project leader has suggested that two of the tasks are that all the product country teams should do. These are marked in, with green and then all. And one task that the user um, coordination unit will do themselves. So these, they, if this is agreed, then these tasks then move into the plan box, and all three are agreed. And th that meeting that we're planning was sprint five, so by the time it's finished, it, that meeting has then been completed. When the meeting's been completed, then we go for two weeks, and then two weeks later, the team meets again. We start with a review of how of, of, of how well the activities went. So during that two-week period, of course, some of these tasks get pro progressed through. They were in progress, maybe not finished yet, in progress, and then one was finally perhaps completed, and maybe in this case, this one was completed. So when you come back to the country teams which we'll have a look at in a sec. But first of all, the review is the progress and then they plan the next two weeks. Uh, right after the, the, that first meeting between the partner and the project leaders, well, the partner leader then has to meet with his own team or her, her own team and um, decide which of the tasks they're going to do in the next two week period. Of course, some of the tasks they've got have been inherited from the regional meeting. So these ones they've already agreed to do, so they've got to do it, so they're planned. But it may be that they have some tasks that they've started already from the previous sprint and are not completed, like this one. And they have some other tasks that are not being done by the other countries, but they know they have to do, or they're a bit of more extra detail, like, for example, yes, they have to finalize the baseline survey, but the important thing for them to do is to do the translation of the extra questions. So in this cycle, there's an agreement on which tasks will be done and maybe who's going to do it. And then what's special about the Agile cycle at the within team level, or within country team level, is that the team should meet every two or three days to examine their progress, solve problems, and see, make adjustments. When the two weeks are over, then the, 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 it's very likely that the team will have a review meeting separate from the actual planning meeting. They'll just do a review maybe one or two days before the big group meets again and say if we've been able to complete all our tasks. As before, during that two-week period, some of these tasks may progress, some of them may actually get completed, some may not be finished. So when the team meets for their review, they notice that the two regional projects had not regional tasks had not yet been finished, though some of their local tasks had been finished. So then they come back, the partner leaders come back again to the main meeting and can report on the progress. In this case, if we have a look at the progress, was these two things were supposed to be finished in those two weeks, and they weren't, but they were able to do one of the, some of the important subtasks in the plan getting ready ahead for the survey. So in this short video, you learned about how in the Aquadap project we're using Agile-like planning in two-week sprints at the regional level to coordinate work among the countries and also to, to cover work within countries where in addition you'll be meeting much more frequently as part of a team to solve implementation issues, for example, in the design of the smartphone app. Thank you.